What's going on, nation? Today we're going to talk about a very underrated exercise to build muscle and strength in your back called the Pendley Row. Now, unlike traditional barbell bent over rows, the Pendley Row is an explosive, off the ground movement that's going to help activate some of those deep muscle fibers in your back that you'd otherwise not activate in a traditional back workout. But before we get started, if you enjoy my content, be sure to click that big old subscribe button and turn on video notifications by tapping the bell icon. Or I guess you could not click anything. Which is kind of a douchebag move, but whatever, it's cool. It's all right, guys. I'll still teach you the three golden rules anyways. So let's get started. Golden rule number one, the Penlay row is not the same as the barbell row. Guys, just like the deadlift, when it comes to the Pendley row, the eccentric or the negative are completely irrelevant. This is an explosive movement only focusing on the concentric phase of the exercise. Now generally, the eccentric is very important when it comes to muscle growth, but in the case of the Pendley row, this explosive concentric component will help greatly stimulate muscles that are usually not targeted when performing traditional barbell bent over rows. So what's the difference in terms of form? Well, for status, you're pulling the weight off the ground, and when beginning the movement, you wanna ensure you're as parallel to the ground as possible. Then from there, you're going to utilize an overhand grip and thrust the barbell to about your mid torso or just below the chest, and as soon as you pull the barbell all the way up, you're going to literally let it drop to the ground and then repeat for reps. So it's coming to a dead stop on every rep, guys. Golden rule number two, don't turn the pen lay row into an upright row. Guys, your torso needs to be parallel to the floor, period. Now, of course, your torso angle will slightly change as you keep pulling explosively, so you will see you know, a little bit of uprightness, but don't let the pen lay row turn into an upright row because your ego took over the movement as muscle fatigue began to set in. Clean reps are the key to maximizing the benefit of the exercise, and if your form is breaking down, you can either stop and rest or lower the weight. You have more than just one option, which is completely tearing apart proper form. Now, if you want to, you can experiment with different grips on the barbell to target different parts of your back, for example, using a close grip and pulling the barbell towards your belly will target more of your lats, and a wider grip while pulling towards your chest will greatly target your upper back and rear delts. Just keep in mind that the wider your grip, the less weight you will be able to use, so adjust accordingly. And now before we get to the final golden rule, do me a favor and tap that like button, guys. It really helps my channel continue to grow and help more people. Also, for those of you who enjoy my videos in article form, you can download my app, Muscular Strength, and check out this video right now for a quick refresher on back day. And golden rule number three, keep your knees and lower back safe. The last thing you wanna do is lock out your knees and bend over when performing this movement, guys. You are essentially going to be in the same position as the barbell bent over row, and what that means is you're gonna have your knees bent and you're gonna sit back to help you bend over. You're sitting in between your hips, not bending over and putting all that weight in your back. Sitting back in your hips this way takes the load off your knees and lower back and places it on your glutes and hamstrings, all right? So make sure you sit back properly. Oh, and one last thing. I've got a bonus tip for you. Don't save the Pendlay row for the end of your routine, okay? This is an exercise meant to push your limits so there's absolutely no point in doing it last or even third or even second in your routine. If incorporated into your current workout, this should be your main lift. And I know some of you are going to ask why deadlifts aren't first. Well, guys, deadlifts are not a back exercise. They're a total body strength movement. So if you feel deadlifts in your back, you are doing them wrong and you should check out my article on deadlifts before you cripple yourselves, okay? I can only think of one kind of person that's gonna tell you a deadlift is a back exercise, but I'll let you figure that out. <laughs> but in general, if you exhaust your back with a different exercise first, pull-ups or rows, for example, and then decide to throw this in, 
you're going to be too fatigued to lift explosively and overload your back to your fullest potential. That's why you want to do this movement first. So if you decide to do it, do it first and then proceed with one or two other movements that are going to target your back. For example, I would lead with the pendulum row, then move into maybe some chin-ups or pull-ups, and then finish it with a nice, slow and controlled low row, whether I'm doing it seated or actually with the barbell. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and like I said, if you want more great content, click that subscribe button, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. Guys, you don't have to make up new exercises to get better results. And I actually have hundreds of how-to videos in the playlist over here. But if you want to be able to search by muscle group, I have them all organized in my app, Muscular Strength, along with photos and quick write-ups as well. 